today I have the pleasure of introducing you all to two amazing ladies from Rutgers University Student Assembly, also known as RUSA because of Rutgers, we like our acronyms. Um, so Claudia Marconi is a currently a senior majoring in political science and minoring in public policy. Claudia also serves as the RUSA Chief of Staff. And then secondly, Casey Byte is majoring in dance and minoring in both math and gender studies. She currently serves as the Livingston Class of 2018 representative and the Livingston Canvas Caucus Chair for RUSA. Let's give them a warm welcome as they provide you all with more information. Rutgers University Student Assembly, and basically that's your student government. Uh, we are working on several initiatives, as you will see, um, college affordability, public safety, mental health, um, alcohol awareness, and academics. And our last slide will also include uh, part of the other ways students can get involved on campus. All right. So our first initiative we're going to talk about is college affordability. Uh, we've been working a lot with this recently, so one of the things that um, we work to do is uh, get full year Pell Grants for students. So that includes summer sessions and winter sessions, not just typical fall and spring semesters. Uh, let's see, we are also, we went to, okay, so we Claudia also went to, um, in last March we went to DC and we had meetings um, scheduled with the Big Ten Association, so all Big Ten schools, student governments, got together and went to meetings with the Department of Education to discuss Pell Grants and other uh, policies that are relevant to academics and students. And then we also um, had a student advocacy day um, organized by our um, lobbying firm that is located in D.C. And they scheduled um, meetings with all representatives in Congress, as well as our senators. And we actually got to spoke, speak with um, the office of Cory Booker, as well as Senator Menendez. And we, and in that, in those meetings, we um, talked about reinstating uh, year-round Pell grants, so that students um, can also attend uh, winter and summer sessions, like Casey said, without having to worry about the the, uh, the financial aspect. All right, so one of our favorite initiatives that we started last fall is called Midnight Snacks. What we do is we set up a table right underneath the overpass of the College Avenue Student Center, and we give out free food and water to uh, any student that passes by on what are typically known as high-risk party nights. So this is uh, nights like um, Halloween, Halloween weekend uh, nights, um, and uh, syllabus week, so the first week of classes when there's not too much work going on. These are typically higher risk party nights uh, each semester. And we uh, get a sponsorship from um, from Kina, which is a, a vendor right on campus. And we go out and give free food to as many students as we possibly can. This is to promote safer drinking habits, uh, making sure people eat and drink water and are like properly um, healthy before they go out and they have fun. So this is just one initiative uh, under alcohol awareness that we've been really focusing on. Also this um, initiative, we usually get the most positive feedback from students as we give them free food and water they as us. they go off to parties. <laughs> yeah, so they're like, thank you, we love you, it's great. <laughs> Um, with academics, so during the summer, our academic affairs chair um, was able to work with uh, uh, WebRed, which is the web page we use to register for classes and to extend the hours uh, for the WebRed. So now students have more um, more access to it de depending on the times. Um, so that's one of the um, the big initiatives. Also, um, we are trying to review common hour ex exams to see if we can um, try to get them not happen during the weekends um, because many students work and have other responsibilities as out of academics. And also, um, we're trying to establish a mental health policy because academics takes a toll on our students on a daily basis and we are very much aware of that. So we're trying to find a way that we can uh, still keep mental health uh, as a priority and, you know, and that goes in hand with our academics. <laughs> okay. So uh, we 
you've been doing a lot with mental health, especially in the past month. We held a town hall, uh, which was an event where anybody was welcome to come and hear from a couple different sources on campus, um, experts we have on mental health. Uh, these were counselors from our um, from CAPS, which is our main counseling system, as well as a student who runs her own um, her own uh, group where students listen to um, are on call to listen to each other and uh, take a phone call whenever somebody needs it. And uh, two sisters who actually ran you may have heard about this the Into the Light 5K, which was a couple weekends ago. It was a it was a 5K to spread. Uh, awareness for mental health and suicide prevention. So those girls were also on our panel and uh, they talked to anybody who had questions about the different resources that uh, we have on campus and as, as well as um, what their different departments or groups are focusing on uh, for the future. Um, we also helped with um, hiring more counselors for our CAPS. And um, yeah, the online appointments, exactly. Also, um, with the Into the Light um, 5K, Rusa was able to help uh, with a $4,000 donation that went to the overall total that they were able to uh, fundraise, which was $80,000, uh, which was great because that will go to um, the American um, Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And it started as something very small. Their goal was $5,000, and that turned into $80,000 because of everyone in the university that helped out. relationship with our public safety department at Rutgers. Uh, this includes uh, the Rutgers University Police Department. Recently we had a more small, um, a smaller gathering, um, which was a town hall, with a bunch of different leaders of student org organizations on campus, especially from different cultural organizations, as well as we some members. We went and spoke with uh, Chief Kenneth Kopp of uh, the police department, and he talked to us about the different um, initiatives that they're working on and the different things that they uh, they do every single day for our students. They've been hiring more officers. They do intense diversity training and all different types of trainings to make sure that they're handling every, uh, every situation with the utmost care and safety is a number one priority. Uh, another thing that they are doing in partnership with Rusa right now is establishing more cameras off campus so these cameras will be able to um, catch different crimes that may or may not happen and provide a greater sense of safety for our off campus student population because that is a very large population. So, with involvement, um, we have Rusa elections. Um, we just um, ended our fall elections. However, students still have an opportunity to run in the spring elections, and um, more all, all positions will be open by um, by uh, spring elections. Um, that's a way to get involved. We also have more than 700 student organizations, so there's plenty of ways for our students to get involved. Um, some of them might be the Latino City Chancellor or um, Rutgers College Republicans. All kinds of um, organizations that our students can get involved. And um, with RUSA, we have our meetings Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. at the Student Security Center in College Avenue. And um, there's also like that link right there. Um, if students go there, they can find all the ways um, and organizations that they can get involved in. Our meetings are also open to the public, so students don't have to be elected currently in our, in our governing body to come and participate. They could also join our committees. We've got several different committees that focus on things like health and wellness, uh, academics like we were talking about, um, university affairs, a whole range of different issues, and anybody can join those committees. They don't have to be elected. And then if they want to run for a position at a later time, that's another way that they can get further involved. Or they can just come to one meeting, see, what, see what's happening at our meeting that night. Um, definitely, we're always open to new people coming, lots of room space, so I encourage our students to come see what we're all about. Agreed. 
Any questions?